To start today's video, I'm going to ruin some of the anticipation and suspense and reveal that the texture pack we're reviewing today is released by Hero Pixel Games. The reason why I'm revealing that right now is because about two to three weeks ago, Hero Pixel Games sent me a gift of 3,500 mine tokens. It was a thank you for the feedback, the support, the review, the information that I do on all of my texture pack reviews, and also a way for them to say that they're actually a fan of the channel. Now, I made sure to show that in the community post at the time, but I'm also making sure to say it now so that I'm being transparent with you and you know that this has happened because honesty is important to me. I promise that in this video, I will still be honest, fair, true with my opinion of this texture pack. There will be no lies. So we can pretty much say that this is a 10 out of 10 pack already. So with that being said, Today's texture pack we're reviewing is Dragon PvP by Hero Pixel Games. It's currently rated 4.6 stars out of 5 stars from 14 reviews. It currently costs 490 mine tokens, which is equivalent to £2.49 in my local currency. And it says, dive into the fascinating world of the Middle Ages, full of myths and legendary creatures. Perfect for building, PvP and survival. Textures in medieval fantasy style, shader-like atmosphere, customized medieval UI, 12 medieval skins, use it in your world. This get this texture pack reviewed. So as always, we're starting in the menus and immediately we have a brand new color. Whoa. Okay, uh, Hero Pixel Games, I don't think that's working how you wanted that to work. So we have a new splash screen. It's the Minecraft title, which looks like it is oversized. Okay, nice big prominent dragon PvP logo though. But yeah, Hero Pixel, you might want to jump in here and just fix this. I'm playing on PS5, just in case you need that information. Um, we do have nice buttons and kind of like the gold trim around this. This is very kind of feels premium in terms of color i like that but yeah that splash screen is a little bit crazy hopefully you guys saw that my 10 out of 10 joke if i remember to put it in was a joke right we will do this fairly i will try to be as impartial as possible as we load into the world now let's get this all generated we have a bright sun look at that okay that is quite a prominent sun over there in terms of a moon more of a minimalized moon there in honesty just trying to load in the world i feel like there's um shadows what is the word that i'm looking for here I, i'm not prepared at all uh atmosphere okay so uh the fog basically i feel like there's a little bit of a fog that was really unprofessional i do apologize going off into the distance other than that though the immediate reaction of the world Feels a little bit drained of color, but nothing really jumping out too crazy. The water seems quite a usual blue, but the sand feels a little bit duller. Now, duller doesn't necessarily mean worse, just means it's a little bit more drained of color. It's not as vibrant. We're in the uh, acacia biome here as well, so that's usually quite a dull biome as well. But yeah, okay, initial um, impressions. Shame about that splash screen. Let's get down there, let's see what the blocks look like close up, and then let's see what the passive mobs look like. So we'll get down there over to here and hopefully we'll have something cool. Immediately looking at the acacia. So they've changed the, um, the texture to something of their own. It's not too crazy different from what you would expect. Now, obviously, this texture pack only costs 490 mine tokens, and it also has the word PVP or the letters PVP in the title, which would have one believe it's more of a PVP texture pack than a survival texture pack, even though it does say it's perfect for building PVP and survival in the description. I am notoriously not a PVP player. We do have a sheep over here. Okie dokie, you can see the shading and the brush strokes. Oh, hang on, what's going on with his face? Is that the leaf? Okay, so his face is not as prominent. It's not as taking over the actual face of the mob there. The white wall covering, okay. The shading is nice. I, I always call it brush strokes. 
the colors look okay but it's not too crazy my voice is disappearing on me now hopefully that means i'm losing my cough oh we have a pig over here oh hello we've got a speckled pig that's an easy way to my heart i'll be completely honest with you speckled pigs and speckled cows yes please because pigs are dirty looking anyway i know people keep pigs as pets that was not a shot at them but they don't always just look one color and i do i like that the brush strokes are quite prominent in terms of the shading on the texture but that two-tone is very nice we have oh okay so down here we've got two chickens and they've gone away from the white is this texture pack made for me this texture pack might be made for me you know they've got speckled pigs and they don't have white chickens everything i love in a texture pack this is a prominent brown there isn't much detail on this chicken but they've kept the 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 core of what i like okay this could be a dasman texture pack you know maybe dasman dragon you know kind of sounds the same all right i like it oh he's got his little feet flapping around they they haven't gone too detailed on the feet some some chickens in texture packs their feet are crazy detailed there's no there's no feet content there for that chicken uh do we have a cow okay so we've gone from brown chickens to two-tone cows yeah you know what so far this is my texture pack this texture pack has taken on a lot of my feedback look at this I promise you, I haven't seen this texture pack before, but I have definitely said in previous texture pack reviews, I like speckled pigs, I like speckled cows, and this two-tone white and brown. Okay, I mean, it's more of a maroon than a brown, but hey, I'm a fan of this, you know. This is, uh, I gotta be consistent, okay? This is what I always say I like, and I like this. Maybe a little bit more red than maroon. I know it's quite, quite a reddish maroon here, okay. Other than that, they seem to have used the, the base models, though. They haven't changed the models too crazy. They've just changed the colors and the markings. I like this so far, okay? Obviously, it feels a little bit dull. That could be because we're in the Acacia biome. We'll see as we go through in terms of vibrancy and saturations and such with the colors. But in terms of how the passive mobs look, the sheep, I was a little bit meh, okay? Whatever. But I liked the choice of the pig, the cow, and the chicken. I like the colors. I like the choice. Um, let's go and find a village and let's see what villagers look like. Okay, so I've purposefully taken myself out of the acacia biome, the savannah, or whatever it's called. And I think we're in, I'm going to say a plains, but I have no idea where we are. We're at a village. Immediately looking at the blocks. Okay, the planks look quite dirty, a little bit blurry in all honesty. That could be my anti alizy whatever it's called, whatever the setting is. That could be that. But they do look quite worn. A little bit of weather detail going on here. And then with the cobblestone, I have to say, I do like the cobblestone. Again, it feels a bit blurry, but I do like that cobblestone. It's quite nice. I like the doors as well. Okay. Yeah, this seems to be going for quite a uh I, I was gonna say a dirty texture but maybe it's like a detailed art you know like using shading and shadows and stuff to create detail i feel like that might be what's happening here with this texture pack we've got the villagers over here you've got the shading on the blocks you've got what i call brush strokes but it doesn't differ too much from a minecraft villager they've just changed up the attire a little bit the colors still feel quite under not very vibrant is probably the time i'm looking for here dirt as well yeah okay they haven't put too much detail in here but they are going for the shading what's that is that mossy cobblestone okay it's quite a minimalistic pack at least it feels like it to me we do have an iron golem and i like this iron golem i do like this iron golem not a hundred percent sure what's going on here with the design but i do like him he looks kind of like um like like uh utility vehicles like a jcb or something with the yellow and stuff just making it like um a worker's vehicle i i'm i'm describing this terribly uh but i do like it i like the yellow i like the iron i like the eyes i like the nose very nice okay it's a bit hit or miss this pack in all honesty to be honest with you um it kind of depends on how you feel with how they're detailing a lot of these blocks you do have to remember though it is only 490 mine tokens right so it's on the cheaper side of what's available in the marketplace so you're not going to be getting like x128 style textures here 
and it seems to be geared more towards pvp so this might not even be the most important part of what's in the pack but so far so good i kind of like it it's above average at the moment i think i was going to say this turn it tonight but it already is night time so let's have a look at the hostile mobs we got the moon in the sky looks like a crescent moon right there some kind of craters in the moon as well fair enough we've got spiders down here quite minimalistic on the spiders not too crazy i did think that mobs was where this was gonna you know really hit well for the survival players kind of good things to fight good things to pve maybe but maybe that's not what this is about it's maroon as well a little bit darker than the cow it feels but that could be because we're at night time not much to see there with the skeleton oh wow he's got gold teeth i like that detail that little like little details like that is very very nice i do like the detail but other than that it is quite a basic skeleton the color change though there is again another color change here it's more off-white egg white but i do like that golden tooth just makes him feel like a little bit of a gangster hello how bright is your face so it's quite a dark green using the shading and like that dirt effect again to give texture to the to the texture basically but look at how bright his face is i can't tell if he doesn't have a soul or if his soul is massively bright he's got those evil eyebrows there as well that's a nice touch okay very evil eyebrows do we have a zombie around yes we do just over here there could be a combination of zombies and zombie villagers what are you you are a zombie villager thank you very much okay i can see the glasses you used to be a librarian all right darker colors again that is definitely a darker green than i'm used to and then we've got like a dark outfit as well this is definitely a darker texture pack what is this just a standard zombie and they've got the gold teeth as well these guys are these guys are like little street gangsters or something what is going on still with the darker textures what is that in your head is that exposed skull or is that part of a helmet still on his head okay all right got a very dirty outfit going on here as well torn to shreds too interesting okay i really like the creeper here i have to admit that bright face really does kind of make it a bit more suspenseful a little bit full of dread everything else the tooth is nice but it's just kind of run of the mill there's nothing offensive here nothing bad in my opinion but just not a lot to really shout out about so hopefully this is going to come alive with the weapons and the armors but before we get there let's go out to sea let's have a look at what an ocean monument a drowned a guardian and an elder guardian look like okay so we are over a monument here i'll just take the night vision potion so we can have a look at how it looks above water okay not too crazy looking at it from here let's get underwater now okay okay there's some detail here look at that the prismarine bricks i like that i like the prismarine bricks they look nice still we seem to be on a roll with when it comes to prismarine doing texture packs that get rid of that color changing effect i feel like that's such an important detail to prismarine there's no color change on the prismarine here which is a disappointment do we have the dark prismarine bricks around here that we can have a look at so we can just get these out of the way i never find them when i need them i think they're at the front aren't they where is the front here we go here's the front okay feels quite standard not much change there that feels quite standard to what I recall Dark Prismarine looking like. Okay, so my favorite block down here is the Prismarine bricks. A little bit upsetting about the Dark Prismarine. The seat, but look, you've got the you've got the effect here on this. I like these sea lanterns. They've got a little animation going on here. Oh, please put an animation in for the Prismarine Hero Pixel. I beg you. We've got Guardians over here. They've gone for the darker colors not too many changes other than like darker colors and a, quite a vibrant orange there to be honest with you it's not terrible just i don't know if they've quite made it their own oh oh hello we've got a drowned and that is a really nice trident as well are you aquaman um i'm not sure what's going on with his face is he what are they supposedly wearing a helmet do they have eye? okay there's eyes there all right the face is a little bit weird 
the face is a little bit weird but that has to be a super cool trident look at that trident right there you are aquaman in disguise aren't you okay and then under here we've got the elder guardian okay they've added that again that shading that kind of dirt detail the brush strokes and stuff but really it's just a standard elder guardian not much to really write home about kind of keeping an average or slightly above average theme going as we carry on here nothing offensive nothing too terrible but nothing really kind of owned at the moment i guess let's head over to the armory let's see what the weapons and the armor sets look like i feel like they have to be strong for a pvp pack okay so we're at the armory and i've kind of decided that when I'm saying it's a dirty texture pack, I mean they've made it look gritty. That's what I mean. Dirty makes it sound quite bad. Looking at these paintings, oh, that is a super cool dragon right there. I mean, of course, the dragon has to look good in a dragon PvP texture pack, right? It's named after a dragon. It has to be good. And then some of these just look really, like, mesmeric. Man, Hero Pixel, can you let me know who drew these, please? They deserve credit. Seriously, they really, really do. These are cool. I love the way extra packs change paintings um we're here at the leather armor that's quite nice you know that is quite nice i like the black shroud that goes with it and i like that you can still dye it and it does dye the majority of it for leather i feel like you have a lot more freedom to do whatever you want with this feels like an actual outfit i do like this Nice animation on the water in the cauldrons as well. Never noticed that before. We've got the tools. Okay, so the weapons look small. The one thing I know about PvP texture packs is apparently PvP players like small weapons. I don't know why, but they do. Um, so that makes sense. Looking at the weapon here, it's a nice color and it's kept that wood effect because it, these, these are the wood tools nice little detail with the wrappings too okay hopefully we've got changes going through just a little run back here okay immediately we do have a change there's a lot more wrapping that is such a good detail because obviously this stone part would be a lot heavier than the wood so it would need more wrapping that makes so much sense okay we've got chain mail now everybody who's seen my pack reviews my texture pack reviews knows i like transparency They've kept a bit of transparency in the chainmail here. I don't think it's anywhere near enough for me to say that I like this. Okay, I don't like this chainmail. There is transparency in areas, but not everywhere. I like my chainmail to have transparency. I do like the details with the wrappings though. Very nice. And I like that the weapons change as we go level to level, which continues here with the iron, a more deliberate sword is the word that i want there the wrappings disappear because these are actually forged i like the colors that's nice okay weird that the iron weapons have a different color to the iron armor i could have done with some of that brightness on this the shading and the shadow effect here definitely taking over it feels quite solid though this does i mean it's got a little belt going on here not sure what that's for okay for well, the gold armor all right now hang on all right so the the iron sword and the gold sword are the same is this where we're going to get a bit copy paste i know somebody in the comments seriously you guys have to let me know i like my weapon sets to change with different sets right somebody did say to me in the last pvp texture pack review that i did that weapons should look the same what do pvp players like do you like the weapons to look unique do you like the armors to look unique this gold this gold feels very vibrant a little bit noisy but very vibrant all of the armors seem to be keeping the same shapes which just goes against all logic for me to be honest with you but if that's what pvp players like then okay confirm that in the comments a little crown going on there but it is feeling a bit copy paste oh oh we've got a different hang on hang on so the gold and the iron swords are the same we have a different diamond sword very vibrant blue here for the diamond different shape going on it's got a weird thickness in the middle here and it's lost those kind of sticky out bits of whatever that's called i want to call it a hilt but i don't think that's what it's called very vibrant blue though i like the blue 
this armor is keeping the same feeling down here in the belt but the helmet's changed from the gold okay they've added in the blue as well which feels like the same style of color maybe maybe needs a little bit more of the darker blue in here to have that effect but it feels it definitely feels better than the iron did okay still a bit noisy though and then never right okay the weapons do change quite considerably through the different armor and weapon sets i like that that's a good effect Dang, imagine being stabbed by that sword no thank you good never right colors i'm not sure i like the color set here of the never right armor myself the red the gold the never right black i don't know i think diamond is my favorite it does look kind of cool but i don't know if i like it i don't think i do diamond is my favorite and then i think leather's my second favorite let me know down in the comments what your favorite armor and weapon sets are and let's go and have a look at the gold armors with a diamond armor trim okay so we are here and honestly the armor trims just make it feel noisy i don't think i've seen an armor trim i like ever in one of these sections hero pixel if you come across this video and you do drop down in the comments could you let me know what you guys think about armor trims and implementing them or something because i'd love to understand as texture pack makers what you guys think about armor trims so many texture packs seem to ignore armor trims i don't know why um please let me know and let me know what you guys think in the comments as well let's head over to the red zone and see what redstone looks like okay so we are at the red zone and i do i like this i like the redstone block i don't know why but any kind of texture pack that changes redstone blocks and just adds their own little bit of detail to it i just like it no matter what it is these always seem to do really well for me redstone dust is quite base oh that's a nice gold trim on the comparator okay and they get a little purple effect when they're switched off cool quartz looks quite nice as well there's a nice little bit of detail there to break it up from being super smooth but it looks nice i think kind of has like a glass effect bit weird um but i like it in terms of the pistons the pistons and the hoppers they feel just quite dirty and gritty really okay the rails inoffensive nice little effect going on here on the mine cart although one thing i would say is that these mine carts look like they're made of wood but when i know you have to make them out of iron that is a little bit misleading very dirty and gritty though but yeah I, I would revisit that in my opinion they look like they're made of wood they don't give off the effect that they're made of iron we've got a, oh i don't like the observer okay i don't like the observer i like my face in the observer i'm sorry i don't like the tnt block either okay um the dispenser and the dropper though they're okay they're cool nice minimalistic change to what they would normally look like not a big fan of the observer keep a face going on there you've got the face on those two put the face back that would be nice target block is cool and the daylight sensors not too bad bit of a mishmash hit or miss i don't know always good for you guys to let me know this section and the armor trims bit they're your bits not mine i really couldn't care less about them so if you have any feedback for me let me know let's head back to the main world and let's go to the never okay so we're heading into the never now that splash screen oversize is on everything um okay never doesn't look too crazy that is never in the background i'm sure of it i'm sure that's confirmed it doesn't look too overpowering or too crazy as we finally load in oh wow all right so we're in the red biome ah oh, hang on a second we have got night vision on just to get rid of that there we go that gets down some of the exposure some of the uh vibrant it's a standard obsidian portal it's a very noisy crimson nylium definitely oh neverac does feel quite noisy in fact i would be interested to know what the resolution of this texture pack is i think it's I, I'm, I'm not even going to pretend to know to be honest with you maybe it's eight by eight maybe it's not so let me know oh hello got a hoglin i like the brown of the hoglin here though the eyes no soul no soul whatsoever and i like that the bone isn't a pure white it matches the bones of the skeleton i think that's a really good detail whether you've locked into that or not i do like that we've got piglin over here hello how you doing 
Oh, his eyes look sad. I mean, it's better than just having pure white soulless eyes. But as soon as he turned around, I don't know if it's the 3D nature of his nose or the position. He looks sad. I'm sorry, dude. Other than that, you look absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with you. The purple is quite nice in terms of as a color. It does look quite nice and it sticks out from the red. But look at this right next to a bastion and a soul sand area. You get that immediate transition from bright and it does feel bright compared to the gray. That's interesting right there. Okie dokie. Do we have a ghast or the blue biome around here at all? Okay, so we've had to travel quite far to get out of the uh, tunnel systems that was going on in the Neverak. Um, and we are in what I think is a soul sand valley. Yeah, that's definitely soul sand. You can see the attempt at faces. Soul soil, quite standard. Let's get down here and have a little look at what's going on. In terms of the ambience, it's all right. It's not crazy, but oh my lord. Look at that ghost. Why is he wearing a mask? He looks like a highway robber. Oh, I like that. I like that. Again, it's not pure white. I don't know if that's to imply that he's made of bone. It's a bit orange but oh wow he looks like he's wearing a mask he really does that's like an executioner's mask it looks like i like this this is actually really really nice it's not disgusting it's not overpowering it's not like shock and horror it's just different and owned i do like that that is cool okay um let's find a fortress and let's see if this can keep ending strong Right, so we're here at the fortress. This fortress feels quite big, to be honest with you, at least from here. But that fog feels like it is quite prominent there. I don't know if that's my loading in, my my um, my uh, I can't think of what the word is now. My rendering distance is the word that I meant. I don't know if it's that or if there is actually a fog. We've got the fortress here quite purple. Okay, I do like when texture packs can use a good purple to mix off against the red. It does make it all stand out. Obviously, we've got the wither skeletons here as well. Again, very maroon. Very maroon. Not quite black at all, just very maroon. It's a nice use of gold as well. It is just a skeleton flip though, really. But okay, and then we've got blazes. They look hot not much detail going on here in the face very prominent eyebrows okay um yeah it's still just like a mixed bag really again i'm struggling for anything that's quite negative i really like the ghast i like this purple and then everything else just feels kind of mid kind of not bad not great okay let's get the old uh, wither to spawn in here and let's see how the actual wither looks itself. Obviously, we need to go through this full power up to just see what this looks like, which is a bit annoying. I wish there was a way to see without, but I've said that before. Oh, hello. Oh, I like the colors. I like the colors. Sometimes just an easy color change is all it takes. The maroon of the wither with that yellowy gold. I mean, it changes it for 490 mine tokens what's that that's the lowest tier or is that the second lowest tier of prices the standard texture packs any change is a good change very prominent eyebrows again all right i like that that's not too bad that's keeping me quite happy to see what the actual dragon looks like and that's going to be important because this texture pack is called dragon pvp so hopefully they're not about to fumble the bag let's head to the end and let's see what ND looks like Okay, so we're heading into the end and oh wow. All right, so I said Neverak was quite noisy. The end feels very crater filled, which in its own makes it feel very noisy. All right, the void is standard. It's all, oh, is it? Oh, there's definitely a change to the void here. Maybe it's my rendering. I don't know, but it feels, okay. It feels a bit difficult to look at. You might not see that on YouTube. What is that? What is that? I don't even know what that's supposed to be based on. It's a one-eyed inverted Enderman. Wearing a jumper, shorts, and ankle and wrist bracelets. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I mean, congratulations on making it your own. You've owned it. 
that's always a win. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Okay. What's going on with the obsidian? Why is it not rendering in properly? Is there like an atmospheric fog here? Look at that. Why is... What is... Oh, I don't think I like... Oh, hello. Okay, so I might not like the atmosphere of the end. I like the red. I like the detail of the dragon. Yes, you've put time into the dragon. If this texture pack is going to be named after her, you have put time... Look at the wing. Oh, that is a nice wing right there. Oh, look at the markings, the color. Eyes are a bit big. But, oh, the color is good. The wings look good. Let's get her down here again. I want to see those markings again. There's, there's a weird feeling in the end. I can't lie to you. There really is a very weird, like, ambience. I don't know why the obsidian is so purple. I don't know why the void feels so kind of glitchy. Maybe it's my, like, Minecraft game. I don't know, but just be aware of that. Is she going to land and perch? She's got us waiting. Here we go. I just want to have another look at these markings. Okay, yeah, I like those markings, man. They feel kind of aztec -y. Yeah, that's nice. I like the dragon. I do. All right, let's go through this disgusting void and let's find an end city. Okay, so we're loading in and there is a definite weird blurry glitch purple effect for like render distance fog. Look, you see how it starts to pierce through? That is very, very weird. It, this is not a comfortable fly through on creative. I'm going to be completely honest with you here. Um, and it's... You seem to have to get quite close to actually see details. We've got the red. And we never look at this because I never noticed it before. But we've got a red dragon's head. That's a good, you know, keeps to the source. I like the purple. This is a very detailed purple. I feel like this is a very good building block. Very prominent. Very detailed. I like that. I even like the end stone here as well with the kind of dirt shading going on very nice. Okay, the purple is very vibrant as well. It's just so good to have something other than the glitchy void to look at. In terms of shulker boxes, there's a bit of detail on there. Other than that though, it doesn't feel too different, but the purple is strong. I like this purple. I really, really do. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. We've got one more section left. So let's head to the ancient city and let's see what the warden looks like. Okay, so we're going to shine some light on this ancient city now so we can have a look. We've got quite a prominent blue skulk. Looks nice. It's very cool. Okay. And then you've got that detailed gritty... I was going to say stone blocks, deep slate blocks going on here. This feels like a warden's face here on the chiseled deep slate as well, which is quite a nice effect. If you're going to have your own ancient city, you might as well draw your face in a block, right? This is a nice effect with a night vision potion, though. The blue does feel quite strong and it kind of blends in well. There is just a level of dirty detail that goes on here, which, you know, you either have to be into the art style or you're not. I can be forgiving of it. I don't know if I could play in this pack, but then, like I said, I'm not really a PvP player. But anyway, that's for the end. Let's get the Warden in here. Here we go. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that come from? I mean, the Wither still look like the Wither. The Ender Dragon still look like the Ender Dragon. The Warden. Looks like Shrek. I nearly did a your mama joke. I'm glad I didn't. But wow. Okay. So it's a completely different warden. What is going on there? We've got the little heartbeat. We've got the prominent green. That's just completely thrown me. I wasn't expecting that at all. I don't know what this is in reference to. I don't know what this is based on. I like it though. They've made the warden their own. Of course I like this. Okay. They've even put the gold tooth in there as well. <laughs> Does somebody at Hero Pixel Games have a gold tooth? Is that what that is? Or maybe it's based on my texture, my my, my um, skin. I don't know. We're trying to claim that this is my texture pack. I know it's not. But yeah, um, in regards to the texture pack, I think I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I really do. I mean, 
let's see what can we how can how can i justify seven out of ten so first of all the value is you know it's 490 mine coins right so it's not your it's not your most expensive texture packs it's probably around the cheaper area so that's not too bad you get a change in pretty much every block whether it's just the colors the outfits or the ui itself there are changes here so you're getting value for money which is cool i'm not the biggest fan of the dirty gritty style of texture if it's not a realism texture pack that's just me though really but i can use it and i can forgive it but i feel like that will be a bit hit or miss for some people pvp aspects to it you know they don't really resonate with me i don't play pvp but i still feel like people are going to want to see this texture pack which is why i'm reviewing this texture pack and it's also why my review is the least important review out of everybody you get to see the same things i get to see so write your reviews down in the comments if you're a pvp player let me know what parts of this texture pack do you like and why what parts don't you like and why but yeah i'm gonna go with a seven out of ten above average for me anything above five or six is above average and i think that's a very good score thank you to hero pixel for the third time for their gift that they gave me before i hope everybody realizes that i did stay fair true and unbiased and honest with my review if you've enjoyed the review please do leave a like drop your comment down below i love to read them and if you haven't already please do hit the subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it this is released on easter so happy easter peace